when I think of Grant, I think of it being in the heart of a, a very flourishing community in terms of connectedness, in terms of, of, of being a neighbor. It's a neighborhood often associated with crime and poverty. But for Gerald Woodyard, he sees Del Paso Heights in a positive light. My love for Sacramento is, it runs deep. I get back there all the time. Talk to my mom every day. I'm a Sacramento Kings fan, San Francisco 49er fan, and for sure a Grant Pacer for life. Growing up a multi-sport athlete from baseball, basketball, and even football. Some great teachers that instilled in me that you're more than just an athlete. And Gerald learned qualities like teamwork and leadership right here at Grant Union High School. He was one of those kinds of kids. I mean, he was so solid as a human being that he was always a pleasure to coach. You got to be willing to do the right things, especially when nobody's looking. So that's what teamwork um, and, and sports taught me. He went on to play football at Long Beach State, but it was a run in with the police that directed his career path. I was stopped by the Los Angeles Police Department on my way to church. I was actually pulled out of my car, placed on my knees in a suit, and, and being a criminal justice major at the time, I asked, hey, what's the reason that you guys stopped me? It's just a question. And they, they said that they, they thought they smelled marijuana. As opposed to being angry by that stop, I decided to, to come on an LAPD and try to be a, um, a part of the solution. A desire to bring change to the department. Commander Gerald Woodyard continues to be a positive force. To be that image that some kid that looks like me will, you know, not be afraid of law enforcement, but be willing to, to come, um, come forward and if they got a problem or if they just want to have a chat. Earlier this week, while working a protest in Los Angeles, Woodyard wasn't afraid to take a knee of solidarity. I did not feel uncomfortable. I felt like I was at home. We know we have a lot of work to do. Working towards bridging the divide. We hear you. We understand you. We want change as well. In Sacramento, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 News.